that's the thing about bubbles. It is a science. It's, they always go, you know, a particular way. Welcome to Just One Life. Today's topic is a bubbleologist named Maxwell. Yeah, who knew? Bubbleology a thing? Well, totally is, is. at least according it's to Maxwell. And him, after right? watching him play around a little bit with some bubbles, I realized what the this flip? is flipping <laughs> amazing. <laughs> When you first think of bubbles, you probably think of some kids blowing around a lot of little bubbles at a birthday party or something. Yeah, you can just be like a bubble machine, really, you know. And sometimes this is really just my role. Or a person entertaining a crowd with giant, massive bubbles using a rope on some sticks. But for this bubbleologist, Maxwell, Bubbles are magical. They are an educational tool, and he believes there is a lot to learn from the bubble. These are like the yin yang bubbles, you know, they the two opposites, empty and clear, you know. So. It can't do it justice, like the film compared to yeah. real life. Yeah. You can get them spiraling. You know, say it's like the, the creation of the universe, you know, light expanding planets form and they orbit, they'll orbit around that big one, you see it'll just kind of stay in the center always. That's the thing about bubbles, it is a science, it's, they always go, you know, a particular way. They have to be the same size, there we go. This is where geometry comes in. So in the middle there we've actually got a hexagon, Yeah, just like these, you know, they, uh, they make hexagons. It's all just geometry. Spheres coming together, sharing walls. Bing. Sharing. That's what sharing looks like, basically. See, they now have a flat wall, but... Uh, That's such a flat wall. <laughs> I had this like breakthrough a couple of years ago when I started really seeing the mindfulness, and just the handling of the bubble. And giving that to children was really, it was, it was amazing. Some kids really could just get into the zen of it, you know. I'm not trying to do a trick, but really just to hold it, to see it, you know, to wobble. Because it's like a ball from space. I used to get really upset. Ah, in shows. When you popped your bubbles? Yeah, when they popped. And uh, I used to get stressed out too. What a, <laughs> what a miserable <laughs> career. Oh, here's the ball, it's over there. Oh, there's five balls now, you know. Just entertainment in general taught me, you know, what, what a show actually is is it's just people coming together, you know. All of this impressive stuff that I can do is just merely a way to keep people's attention, to amaze them, because when you feel that sense of amazement, your, your ego drops. For a moment, anything is possible. And when I have people in those states, that's when I like to punch in messages of positivity, you know, simple things. Anything is possible. You can make a living doing whatever you want, even if it is something as ridiculous blowing bubbles for a living, which most people would never imagine possible bubble. <laughs> <laughs> when I started seeing entertainment like that, you know, when I started to see my role, I started to see what I was doing as a lot more important, you know, to bring joy, to inspire magic, because some children will only see me for 30 minutes or an hour and they're like, I need to make that one hour as powerful as possible. You know, I've got something I think that's really cool and everyone loves it. <laughs> yeah. It's bubbles. <laughs>